with a full team, we're returning to Coruscant for one more briefing before assaulting the Gauntlet. So, Garza said that the Gauntlet itself is a massive cannon built into the frame of a Harrower-class Star Destroyer. So from that, I'm assuming that this is going to be a space battle. But beyond that, I really don't know what the logistics of the actual fight are going to be. Are we boarding the thing? Or are we attacking it from space? We're going to go find out. Oh, look, all of High Command's here. All of High Command that I've met, anyway. Captain, come in. You may stand at ease. I understand you've succeeded in bringing Havoc Squad up to full strength, Captain. Congratulations. Havoc Squad can take down whatever the Empire throws at us, Commander, sir. That's what we were hoping for. General Garza, care to begin? Certainly. As you know, Captain, the Gauntlet superweapon allows the Empire to target and destroy any ship traveling through hyperspace. Right. This capability, if put to use, would give the Empire an insurmountable advantage. It also makes an attack on the gauntlet itself extremely difficult. Right, because how would they not the just blast us out of hyperspace on our way to assault to it? determine a safe approach pattern that will get our forces within striking range. Can you explain this approach pattern, sir? We've run the numbers from the Imperial's readouts and determine the gauntlet's minimum time to acquire and lock onto a target. Your ship and those of my battle group will approach the gauntlet by making numerous short hyper jumps always remaining below the minimum lock-on time. Short, repeated hyper-jumps are very inefficient. Once we're in, our warships won't have enough fuel to return. Damn. Total victory will be our only option. What is my squad's objective once we're in the target area? When the attack begins, Lieutenant Coria's safecrackers will immediately disable the planetary shield generator that protects the gauntlet, allowing Havoc Squad to board it. Once you're aboard, begin the demolition operation. Sergeant Yuen will help you bypass the security seals on the weapon's inner core. Thank you, Sergeant. Specialist Vic will then go into the core with you and plant explosives at key weak points, ensuring the gauntlet's total destruction. How should I deploy my other squad members? During your demolition operations, two Havoc squad members of your choice will assault the gauntlet's bridge and download all data from the weapon's computers. Unassigned squad members will provide mobile backup to the rest of the team as needed. As soon as your objectives are complete, evacuate the gauntlet immediately. Understood? Copy that. I'll assign the bridge assault team before the attack begins. We cannot overemphasize the importance of this mission, Captain. The future security of the Galactic Republic hinges on the destruction of this single weapon. You and your team are no strangers to situations like this. You've faced incredible odds before, and overcome them with skill and determination. If anyone can lead the charge in this battle and see us through to victory, it's Havoc Squad. Fuck yeah. Your Republic is counting on you. Move out. For the Republic! Yeah! This is great. And as for who I'm going to assign to the bridge assault, I'm liking uh, Alara Dorn and 4X as a team for that. I want to keep Jorgen with me because me and the XO, we make a good team ourselves. You know, this is actually a pretty intense plan. Sending the entire fleet on basically a one-way mission using small hyper jumps to just waste all of the fuel. It's like, yeah, if this battle doesn't go our way, there's no way home. It's high stakes. But I would expect nothing less from a high stakes super weapon adventure like this. Alright, all hands. Lock and load. Get your weapons ready. This is going to be intense. Setting a course for the gauntlet. Imperial engineers have created a deadly new device, codenamed Gauntlet. This massive turbo laser cannon fires charged tachyonic matter capable of traveling faster than light speed. Not something we really want to mess with. Oh shit! Oh god, look at it go! Whew, that wasn't us. <laughs> oh, this is great. Alright, the whole fleet's here. We only got one shot at this. Havoc, this is Admiral Newman. Our attack group has exited hyperspace and engaged the Imperial's escort ships. 
Defensive forces are as expected. Lieutenant Corrier reports that the safe crackers have breached the planetary shield generator. That was fast. You're clear to make your run on the gauntlet. Good hunting. Give the Imperials a run for their money, sir. We'll be in contact if anything develops. Newman out. I got the team prepped and ready for your assignments, Captain. We're all eager to do some damage. Like Garza said, we'll need two for the assault on the bridge. Getting in there will be a fight. Vic and you are spoken for, so that leaves me, Dorn, and Forex to hit the bridge. Who do you want on the job? Sergeant Dorn knows the Imperial systems, then Forex can take the heat. All bridge data will be collected and returned without error, sir. No so I like to hear. will stand in our way. Our Republic will triumph. We'll make the final adjustments before we land. Any other words for the team? Havoc is the best squad in the Republic because it has the best soldiers in the Republic. That's why we'll succeed. We may be charging headfirst into the most advanced weapon of war the Sith Empire has ever built, but we will succeed. The odds may be impossible. The enemy may outnumber us ten to one, but Havoc Squad will succeed. Fuck yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hoorah. He gives a good speech, that Jack Antilles. Now let's do the thing. Did it forget to load the gauntlet? <laughs> it looked like we were just flying away. <laughs> Don't kill time. All right, squad, move out. Attack! Oh, hell yeah. I've never been able to fight with the whole squad before. This is great. Get off! Oh, it's been better though! Jesus fucking Christ! What the hell? <laughs> I'm so pissed! Why did I die so quick? Sergeant Payne is certainly a pain in the ass. Come on, come on, we can do it. Yes, finally. All right, let's mop it up. You will grind the Empire's weapon into dust beneath the heel of liberty. All right, good job, everyone. Let's keep going. To the atrium. Is he up against a railing? I wonder if I can ledge this guy. Probably not. Ah, uh, it wasn't that big of a drop. Overriding tertiary security systems now. Come on, Yoon, you got this. Nice. Let 
guards move out and find the rest. Got it. Is that one? Nope. And go loud! terminal in there. <laughs> with a trip wire nice that was creepy he wasn't even looking at it that was some polar express action right there all right we got more to go on the primary systems. Oh, these are tarts that haven't activated. Be careful. Sweet. Installing data spike. Nice. My favorite part is about to start. Better call Vic. Vic, come in. The seals are disabled. Rendezvous with the core access door ASAP. Over. That ugly bug got you through after all, huh? Heading for the door. Hey, he's standing right here, man. <laughs> Shit. I spoke too soon. The turrets are active. I thought it was some sort of super evil chamber. It's just an elevator. <laughs> the atrium. I don't recall the last time I was on a harrower class that had an atrium. It's got an observation port and everything. What goes on in here? This must be where the commander sits. Yeah, Tano Vic! <laughs> Look at this badass! We're ready to finish this. Or should I pop out for a drink? Too bad the imps didn't put a bar on this thing. Could use a break. Sergeant Yoon, you're dismissed. 
Rendezvous with Sergeant Jorgen and stay alert. All right, Specialist Vic, you're with me. Oh, damn. This must be the weapon. Railgun access. Yeah, look at this thing. This is the focusing chamber. Damn. Reminds me of the Death Star Super Laser. A lot. Classic alarm sound. Rhydonium. Yeah, that's the spot. One down, Captain. Let's hit the rest so we can get back to Coruscant and the many thankful citizens of the Republic. Keep your mind on the job, Vic. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm giving you a hard time because I have to because I'm your boss, but keep it up, Vic. <laughs> Oh shit, it's firing! It's gonna melt the bridge. Forgot to take it out. No! Oh shit, that was devastating. Took out an entire cruiser in one shot. We gotta get the rest of these planted. Take out this weapon while we still can. Hey, Vic, feel free to jump in there, you know? A fight going on? My god, laziest soldiers today. Explosives planted at the core of the reactor. That's next. Oh shit, there's more of them. Just a few seconds. Now Captain, what? sir. Sergeant Dawn, a situation has developed on the bridge. Oh, jeez. All data has been retrieved, but Imperial reinforcements are overwhelming our position. We can't hold them. Are your explosives in place? Are we clear to return to the ship? Jorgen, take Yoon and give Dorn and Forex some cover while they pull out. Then rendezvous back at the ship. Already on our way, sir. Just hang in there, people. Nice. We'll okay, try good. to reach the ship by the time you get there, Captain. Dawn out. It's crazy. It sounds like there's a very big dramatic fight going on on the bridge of the gauntlet, and we don't even see it, you know? That's just for our, the rest of our squad mates to deal with. We're in the belly of the beast planting explosives. Oh, hell. The one time Tanovic charges right in <laughs> is the one time I want to wait a second, get a read on this dude. Yeah, 
he wasn't that tough. Come on, Vic, let's go. Hey, they made it. Captain, it is a great relief to see you well, in spite of the extensive fighting. No, what happened? I'm afraid that Dorn was injured terribly while we were fighting our way back Shit. to the ship. I attempted to absorb as much incoming fire as possible, but she refused to hide. She insisted on ensuring that I returned as well. It's those damn Republic ideals. What's her status? Is she going to make it? It's been a long time since medical basics, but you and I managed to patch her up. If Forex hadn't gotten her back so fast, we would have lost her. It was very brave of you to get Dorn out of there. The Republic does not leave its heroes behind. I did only what duty required. That's what Dorn was thinking, too. We'll talk about this later. I need to set those charges off, and we shouldn't be sitting in the hangar bay when I do. Let's get moving. Double time it. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Okay, it sounds like Dorn's gonna be okay. That could have been way worse. Alarmed? Now what? Attack group, this is Havoc. Objective complete. All ships evacuate to minimum safe distance. We copy, Havoc. All ships are clear. Proceed with the detonation. Here we go. Boom. Nice. Take that. There it is. Okay, I was waiting for the weapon itself to blow up. Target destroyed. Repeat, the gauntlet has been destroyed. Yes! We did All it. ships disengage and proceed to rendezvous 47 for refueling. Havoc returned to General Garza on Coruscant for debrief. I'll proceed to Coruscant immediately, Admiral. The Empire's greatest weapon has been destroyed. Congratulations, Havoc. You went out. And we barely lost any fleet ships. I mean, we did lose some, but... That was awesome. Captain. Fantastic work. The Imperial Ministry of War is a firestorm over the Gauntlet's destruction. The SIS says that heads will roll over this, quite literally. If the Imperials are busy fighting over blame, this is the perfect time for more strikes. It's true. A good thought, actually. I'll have the SIS work up a priority listing of targets of opportunity right away. Your leadership and skill in conducting this ongoing operation have been exemplary. I'm promoting you to the rank of major, effective immediately. Nice. Commensurate promotions will be issued to your squad members as well. Congratulations, major. I'm honored to accept this promotion, general. You've earned it. When presented with extraordinary circumstances, you have delivered extraordinary results. Hell yeah. I'm also recommending you for the Silver Crescent in honor of the extraordinary valor you demonstrated in the attack on the Gauntlet superweapon. In recognition of the injuries she suffered in action against the enemy, I've recommended Ilara Dorn for the mark of dedication. Okay, good. I was just about to bring that up. M14X risked himself to save the life of a squad mate. Doesn't he deserve something for that? Droids serving in the Republic military are classified as equipment, not personnel. Oh! There is no precedent for granting a droid any sort of commendation. That's, that's not But cool. if you feel strongly on the matter, I can see about having his contributions recognized appropriately. Now, have you met 4X? That would mean a lot to him. 
We received the following holo transmission not long after the gauntlet was destroyed. Oh. Republic Command. I am General Rackton of the Imperial Ministry of War. General Rackton again. You have made a grave error. By destroying the gauntlet, you have destroyed a weapon of peace and the final hope your people had. Give me everything we've got on this man, General. I'll have a dossier sent immediately. Pretty sure that's the voice of Malgus. In short, Rackton is the Empire's top commander, the mastermind behind their military campaigns. I had hoped a device that removed the possibility of resistance would allow the Empire to achieve its great works without further bloodshed. Mm -hmm. But your actions have destroyed any hope for peace. I am forced to launch a campaign unlike any the galaxy has seen. Your soldiers will be slaughtered. Your planets will burn. And really, dude? Will embrace the light You're giving the us the whole you made me do last. this speech? Rackton. Can Rackton back up these claims? He can, and I have little doubt that he will. Oh, well, For sounds years, like he's going to be our chapter Rackton three bad guy. Has and outwitted every Republic force that has stood in his way, including mine. The SIS is watching for any sign of Rackton's new campaign. Until we have solid data, Havoc Squad is relieved. Rest, recuperate, and be ready for my call. Dismissed, Major. Roger, Roger. A promotion? Major Jack Antilles. A promotion and a successful mission. The gauntlet's been destroyed. General Rackton is pissed about it. And I'm sure that we will be crossing blades eventually. Yeah. General Rackton's name has come up a few times. I should have anticipated him becoming one of the main main foes of this story. Alright, Jorgen. With another mission complete, let's get back to the ship and go chill for a little while. We've earned it. Sergeant, Lieutenant, Captain, and now Major. I wonder how high my rank is going to go by the end of the class story. I wonder if I'll make it to general. You beat the whole thing, suddenly you have Garza's job. <laughs> awesome. Welcome back, Master. Your vessel is in flawless condition naturally. Thanks. Appreciate you, for C2. Operation Talon. Looks like that's what we're starting with next time. Cool. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. It's been a real a real adventure, Chapter 2 of the Trooper Class story. We took down the gauntlet, pissed off at Gen uh, General Rackton, and these are all things that we set out to accomplish. Um, you can catch these playthroughs once a week right here on the YouTube channel, but if you don't want to wait a week, um, you can join up on the Patreon and watch up to two weeks ahead with early access. Thank you so much again, and as always, may the Force be with you. Goodbye. <laughs>